Hey, what's up everybody? So in this video, we'll discuss what is a module or hash function. Last video, in the previous video, we discussed about what is a hash function. Let's say we have a table of, so let's say we have a table of m slots. It starts from 0, 1, 2, goes all the way till m minus 1, right? And uh, we want a hash function, which, and we have key values, k key values. It can be employee, employee names or student names or, or product names. So what hash function does is it helps to it helps to determine the um, index for a key value. That is, we feed uh, we feed our input value we feed the data values as an input, right? Which will pass through this hash function, which will pass through this hash function which will return an index and will store this data value at that particular at that at that particular index all right so let's say we have k key values right and we want to find um uh, and we and we want to find index for each of these key values right so for that we want to so for that we need to define a hash function which will help us to find the index where these values will be stored all right so so modulo hash function is k mod right where m is the number of slots in hash table okay and k is the number of key values which we want to store in these slots all right so let's say if k is equal to 11798 and the total number of slots we have here is 56 okay so we'll find 11789 mod 56 and so so it will return 29 right so we'll store 11789 um, at the 29th index right so similarly for each of these values we can find the we, we can find the value of hash function that is mod m mod m means we this 11789 mod 56 means what is the remainder will returns the remainder when we divide a number by 56 right so here 11789 mod 56 gives 29 so at the 29th index we'll store 11789 right but please note that we but, but please note that if we use this hash function can result into collision that means for multiple data values it can return the same index which will lead to chaining at each index there will be a linked list which will which will increase the time time complexity to search a key at, at a particular index right so what we want is so for that we need to select a value of m such that um, for each key value the hash function returns a unique value so that means so i repeat m should be a value for which k mod m should return a unique so that we can avoid collision right so for that one of the ways we can we can solve this issue is by selecting m as a prime number right if i if i select m as a prime if i if for m i use a prime number every time uh, it's less likely to lead to a collision um, when i when i'm finding a hash value for a key element right so so this is so this is one of the hash so this is one of the hash function um, I hope I was able to explain it. I'll discuss different type of hash functions in further videos in this playlist.